Hello, this is Melon Thomas, and I hope that my insights from the other side will in some good way inspire you to love your life and this miracle planet that we share with all of Gaia's children. We are all, in so many ways, blessed beyond measure. This is CD number three in the series, Insights from the Other Side. On this CD is the second interview with Barbara Rose, entitled, Preparing for the World Not to End. Before I died, I was a real pessimist. I really believed that the human race was going to destroy the planet and overpopulate it and destroy everything on its way. And I really believe uh, that because I started perceiving humanity as a rampant, out-of-control cancer, that that's why I developed my cancer. Uh, the difference is that when I came back, that everything I went over thinking was a problem was actually part of a solution. I had not been seeing it in a big enough picture. And I was given the big picture of what uh, all of this is about on the planet, including nuclear missiles, toxic waste, population, uh, karma, the incarnation, all of these things where I was educated. But I got a tour on the other side of the uh, Kazakh records. That's where all knowledge is. Uh, not only is... It, the Cossack Records is full of the good, the bad, the great, the awesome, the ugly. It's, it's everything that is, that ever was, is, is in the Cossack Records. And those are Cossack Records, by the way, are also stored in every cell of your body, in every atom in the universe. We're never far from. It's like a hologram. That's right. We're never far. We're in the Cossack Records. <laughs> when I was in front of the light, um, not being a very religious person at the time, um, the first thing the light changed into, because I came from a... a uh, a Western Christian oriented background I saw Jesus and I mean I really saw the vibration of Jesus is for real it's a true vibration and then it changed into like Buddha and Krishna I'm talking about the real vibrations I, I really know these things are for real and it started changing into many many other kinds of uh, gods and, and people that had been on the planet to enlighten us and I asked the light I said well who is the real God what's the real God and the light said something to me that, that absolutely electrified every everything that I had ever known. And the light said, I am. But what that meant was that each and every one of us is God, period. We are all made of God's stuff. And the I am meant that you are, I am, we all are God. And then I was given the big picture of what Godhead may be. And we have a very limited concept of it right now in our system. But what was really speaking to me was what I call the great self. The entire universe, the entire Godhead experience of which we're a part of is one large, one great self that's ever expanding, that never had a beginning and doesn't have any ending. The old question of where did, where did it all come from is mute in the larger universe because it never had a beginning and it never has an ending. And that's a concept we're just barely even being able to even conceive at this level of consciousness. Very, very soon, this entire spiritual trip humanity's been on will be completed because spirituality in the Godhead universe is just one small band, like a, like a rainbow. It's the violet band. And there are many other bands of consciousness experience in the universe besides spirituality and besides materialism. In fact, I learned that there's more to this Godhead universe than life and death. There's more than forever. There's more than time and space. Much, much more. We're just barely even beginning to get into a level of consciousness where we can even begin to even even toy with those ideas. In cosmic time, in the blinking of an eye now, it's, it's so close, it's a breath away. Everything that mankind, all the highest aspects, uh, some in the, in, in the Christian religion would call it the millennium, others would call it the age of Aquarius. It's been many, many names for it. The, the name now being bandied around, and I, I tend to use too, is we're coming into fifth dimensional awareness now and it's hitting everybody from housewives to metaphysicians it's really coming on quite fast now first dimensional reality is about subatomic structure the uh, the big bang experience uh... second dimensional reality is where the uh... where the uh, atomic structure started forming in the individual atoms that form the physical universe to hold consciousness third dimensional reality is reality where we first come into sort of a consciousness this 3d world that we know and live in where you have tables and chairs and 3D reality around you. And in fourth dimensional reality, which we're well into now and coming to the end of, is when is the development of the mental realms. And uh, plants have a little bit of this. Uh, 
animals have a little bit of it, but the human beings are really the masters of fourth dimensional reality, which means a, a concept of time and space, concept of history. In fourth dimensional reality, a mental reality, you're able to develop technology, and that technology will allow you to look at a star and to figure out what that star is made of, and then to figure out that you're made of that star. Fifth dimensional reality, which we're coming into very rapidly now, is when we go beyond the mental. The mental has served us and it will serve us in the future, but the mental is only a small part of the being that we really are, only one band in the rainbow that we are. Fifth dimensional reality is the gateway to all other dimensions. When you finally reach a fifth dimensional awareness, you are in, a, in, a, in a, an awareness that can conceive of the past, the present, and the future in the now, and this is happening as we talk all around the world. It is also getting into a dimension of manifestations, and manifestations are starting to happen all over the planet. More and more people are doing manifestations. Yeah.